Welcome back everyone. It is Tuesday. Hope your day is going well. We're going to go ahead and crack open this box of 2021 WWE Tops Finest. And I want to give a special shout out to uh, Jalen Summers who races at the Speedrome in the Junior Fast Cart Division. If you read any of my comments recently, he had requested you more of WWE cards. And I will be getting more in the future. Um, just had these other boxes that I kind of wanted to get into a little bit. I've got this one, and then I do have the women's division box there behind uh, these two boxes. We'll be getting into those shortly. And I will be getting hopefully more Heritage Blasters soon. Uh, I've seen those kind of all over the place from 2021 as well. We've done really good with those. Pulled the Sheamus one of one. Pulled the Randy Orton name variation, which I did sell on eBay, of course. But uh, always appreciate all the... Uh, viewers and listeners and so forth of course Jalen does race at the speedrome i think i mentioned that in the number 41 car the junior fast carts division so if you're at the speedrome go cheer him and his brother mason on mason's in this 77 car so uh lots of great folks down there at the speedrome it's always fun when they come over and watch the card stuff on the channel as well not just the races that we record and the photos that we put online but uh, doing the videos. So anyway, we have Bianca Belair here on the front. She's the current uh, Raw Women's Champion. Had to think about what brand she was on. Uh, collect the Undertaker Tombstone Tribute cards. So maybe we'll get one of those. Four boxes per pack. Seven packs per box. So they do the math kind of different there. 28 cards per box. Shinsuke Nakamura as King Nakamura there, and Damian Priest. They had a good match at uh, Survivor Series in the pre-show last year. There's Bianca again. Zoom in here, let you guys kind of get an idea of what the odds are. Uh, probably got some information on the bottom. And there's Shinsuke and Damian Priest again. A couple of really good stars. like to use the boxes to put my wrappers in off to the side there to try to a little bit behind on a little housekeeping over here but we will get it taken care of there you see Bianca on the wrapper all this information that's on the package or on the wrapper is on the outside of the package so we're not going to bore you with any more of this and we're just going to get ripping here so we got seven packs four cards per pack and these, of course, we've seen these before. Commander Aziz rookie card. Nice looking card. These are a little bit prone to fingerprinting, kind of like the prisms are. Some of the other uh, glossy cards. Rick Boogs, of course, he is out with injury. He is another rookie card, so we're two for two. Jackson Riker, I don't believe he's with the company anymore. And Jeff Hardy, who is now in AEW. And that's the thing with WWE releases, not talking about the, uh, the wrestler releases, but the card releases. Contracts change and people move around. So sometimes you get somebody who might not be at the company anymore, even if it's a newly released product. Charlotte Flair. And to me, these are very, the, the colors are very 80s, those uh, Miami Vice colors, like the pinks and the blues and the turquoises. Still a really nice design overall. Charlotte Flair starts us off. Xavier Woods, who won King of the Ring last year. We have Zach Gibson. He must be NXT. I'm not familiar with them. It's some kind of refractor, I believe. Yes, that is a refractor. It is NXT. Not familiar with Mr. Gibson. Maybe he'll come up to the main roster sometime. And maybe he won't. And there's R-Truth. I haven't been keeping up much with R-Truth. I just don't like the 24-7 stuff. I know if they try to give everybody on the roster some TV time, but I think they'd be better suited in an actual storyline and not in the foolishness that is the 24-7. Jey Uso, main event Jey Uso, as Roman likes to call him. Speaking of Roman, there's the big dog himself. Sonya Deville, current storyline official and... Has a match at WrestleMania Backlash against uh, Bianca. And Angelo Dawkins, one half of the Street Profits. So we got one, two, three, four more packs to go. Moving right along here. So far we've just had the one refractor. 
Hoping we're getting some, uh, saving the big hits for the end. I see some sparkle going on there, but there's Danny Birch, NXT, I believe. Yes, NXT. There we go, KO foil board. Is it going to be numbered? You guys always let me know if I miss this stuff, but I'm not seeing a number. But that's a nice uh, foil board, whatever you want to call it, of Kevin Owens. Nia Jax looks like a refractor. No, it's actually a Survivor Series 2018. Is that what that says? Soul Survivors, Nia Jax. Okay. Of course, she is no longer with the company, but Liv Morgan still is. And I apologize if I sound a little rough still. Still battling with some sinus issues. Just have not been able to get these cleared up. Carrying Cross. Again, he is no longer with the company. Santos Escobar. I believe he is NXT still. Not seeing him on the roster. T-Bar. So this is going to be a refractor, it looks like. It is a refractor. So it's just the uh, standard... And it's a rookie card of T-Bar, a.k.a. Dominic Dijakovic from NXT. Don't know why they didn't keep him as Dominic Dijakovic. And then Seth Rollins, looking uh, looking a bit uh, haggard there, Seth. You're looking a little bit confused. Looking like the waitress didn't bring enough syrup for your pancakes at the Waffle House. Could be a waiter. Can't just assume that all servers are female. Dominic Mysterio starts off our next to last pack. There's Bianca Belair. Who's she pressing? Is that Sasha, probably? I can't tell. Is that what the boots say? Uh, no, what do the boots say? Uh, maybe Peyton Royce also. I don't know. Rhea Ripley. Looking a bit smug. And Dakota Kai. Was that four women in that pack? One, two, three. Nope, it was Dominic started us off, but Dakota Kai. Not sure if she's still in NXT or if she's been released. Haven't heard much. I don't watch much NXT. In our final pack so far, we've got a couple of refractors, a Soul Survivor card, and a Kevin Owens foil board. We're going to start off with Nikki Ash. See another foil board coming up, MVP. Who's our foil board going to be of Shinsuke Nakamura? That's a nice one. Again, it is not numbered. And our final card of the day is Kyle O'Reilly, who is in AEW, as I try to stay out of the reflection. So two, in my opinion, two really nice foil boards. These two guys will definitely be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion, down the road. T-Bar Refractor, Nia Jax Soul Survivor card, and a Zach Gibson Refractor. So our inserts were a little, little low there, but again, I'll take the Kevin Owens, I'll take the Shinsuke Nakamura. Two definite, in my opinion, Hall of Famers. They've probably got at least ten more good years that they'll be, you know wrestling and then they'll retire do whatever it is that they'll do the other inserts eh, yeah that is what they are but anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button we we'll always try to do something a little different every day if it's if, if it's ripping packs ripping boxes um doing set reviews whatever try to make sure we always got a little something for everyone here so anyway thanks again for watching enjoy the rest of your tuesday we will see you again tomorrow